We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition. Lance McCullers will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy here is one of the top strikeout pitchers in all of baseball. Over 200 strikeouts on the season. And this day and age where we don't see pitchers go that deep into games and pitch well over 200 innings, that's saying something. If this guy is on, it could be lights out and lots of Ks. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Now, here we go. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come in winners of two straight, and they've been playing some good baseball as well. Yeah, Matty V. I, I think one of the toughest things, D. Rowe, is to keep playing with this sense of urgency. It looks like they're playoff bound, but the thing is, you need to keep going and, and not take your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, you need to be rewarded for the marathon, and that's exactly what this team has done. They've already clinched a playoff berth, and now they get ready for the sprint. Try and find a way to get healthy, but not lose focus. And it's fouled away. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And another foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last that start, hurt. he racked up nine Ks, and now he's now looking like he can put up similar numbers right in this there. one. Strike hey, one to start one the at-bat. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is popped up. Holt in it, foul ground. It. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. One of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. At the ball. Hey, no outs now. Yep, that ball went out. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Holt has a play. Got it, got it, got One it, away. It. So the bases are empty with one man that gone. And in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Kyle Tucker goes down for the second out in the bottom half. The right fielder. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. They trail this one. Stepping up now, Jack Mayfield. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 
Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jack Mayfield is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Yeah, 0-1 oh, oh. the count. And the pitch. Nope, that's down. Hey, one away, one away. And he pumps the fastball by the him count. here. One, one and, two and two now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great Three. job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Garrett Stubbs becomes out number two this inning. A ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Lays off two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will. Coming to the plate now, D. Gordon. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Gordon, the former Seattle Mariner, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's thrown. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Carlos Correa is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. and Swung on and missed, 1-1. and No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And it's 1-2. I got the count, 1-2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. And he lays off for ball one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. A ball and two One strikes. Ball, two strikes count. Nope. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. The two-two. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep oh, left. Oh, oh. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he... Now the Astros' designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. 
Striding in once again, Kyle Tucker looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. So here's Josh Reddick. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls in one strike. That's up. Popped him up. Rendon is under it. And that's the third out. Digging in now, Jack Mayfield. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Thought about it, but he holds up on the knuckle curve 1-2. Line to the right side, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Digging in, Garrett Stubbs, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. And he fouls this one off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. He's at the knees and called strike three. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. And there's ball two now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Fouled off. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. D. Gordon would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Yeah, you got it, you got it. I got it, I got and it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the... So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, D. Gordon. He went down on strikes last time up. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Popped him up. Alfaro is there. And that's the first out of the inning. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Trying to strike him out for the third time. One out, nobody on. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Ball. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Now at the plate, now Alex batting. Bregman. Third baseman, Alex. Popped Bregman. up. Rendon is there for it. 
but it's the pitcher that makes the play. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go. Alex gentlemen, Claudio is on now complete. out of the bullpen as he'll make now his 70th the appearance the so far this year. Number 58. Yeah, you know what's amazing? A combined no-hitter is even more rare than a complete game no-hitter. So it's not something you see every day or every year for that matter. And that's what you call a total team effort. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our tops player of the game. Well, you know he wants that one pitch back that led to the lone hit, but it was pretty awesome watching him do his thing. He had guys off balance and flailing at the plate all game long, so he really was the story. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious...